space of moon. Okay, we are here live at Robert Bingham's event with Joe Rodriguez. You having a good time? Having a good time. So far, we haven't seen anything major. I have already videotaped a couple of black things fly by real fast, and then another one a few moments later fly by, and I'm gonna zoom those things. I'm gonna freeze it and put it on my website under Joe Rodriguez UFO this evening. But we haven't seen any of the lights we've seen before, the real shiny bright ones. Um, as you know, always it's been my opinion, these things are not from God, they're not angels, here to help us, playing peekaboo, here I am, oh now I'm over here, I I'm over here now, uh, look at me. It doesn't work that way, that's not how God works. So it's to confuse the people, and people don't want to be in the box, so they get out of the box, that's what they get. I'd rather stay in the narrow road, in the box, instead of the wide road, big box. Uh -uh. Keep me in the little box with God, it's all good. Okay, what's your name and where are you? I'm Michaela and I'm in LA um, with the UFO Robert Bingham Summit event. And I just saw a, um, a, I don't know, something, a UFO in the sky right above a little black something that wasn't a, a bird or a balloon or anything and it went that way. What was the shape of it? It was um, circular. Um, black circular. Did you see anything else before this today? This is my first experience today. What's your take on UFOs in general? Awesome. <laughs> Experiences are awesome and we need to wake up and have more and be open to see them so that we can make contact. If you got one message out there for the viewers of Third Phase of the Moon, what would you have to say? Open your heart to love and anything is possible. That's right. Thank you, Michaela. Thank you. Seen anything amazing? Yes, I have. If you got it, I saw. I actually saw a board. Board just floating across. Looked like maybe for about two minutes. Kind of just floated around and floated away. If you got one message out there for the YouTube viewers, third phase of moon, what would you have to say? Uh, that I'm a regular guy and I had an experience, and I came out here, and others are having experiences too. So it's definitely something out there. Thank you. Yeah. Robbie, Robbie, are you having a good time? Yeah. You seen anything amazing today? Well, I saw that little little ball float by. It was what? pretty pretty interesting. Everybody was very excited about it. Um, I would have been more in, sort of impressed if I, if it was actually moving quicker than the speed of the wind or moved in an opposite direction. But it just sort of floated by. It was, it was interesting, it, you know, to me it's a UFO. We don't know what it was. It could have been a balloon, it could have been something man-made or, you know, mechanized or powered, but no way of knowing. So to me, that's like, a, that's a UFO. There is a, um, kind of a little open area over there. And then to the right. I just seen a black orb go by this way, and uh, we're just waiting for more. Hopefully, the, the clouds burn off here pretty soon. Oh, sometime. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Avni. Hey. How you doing? Hey, te vato loco. Hey, mira, sabes qué? Yo quiero ver qué es lo que estás diciendo ahorita. Qué, qué es lo que vas a, qué, qué crees que va a suceder? What do you say? What do you think is going to happen? What do you? I spotted one. Far, but you know, it's still moving slow, it's cylindrical. People took pictures, and we got a very close picture of what it looked like. It was very cylindrical. 
subscribe to Third Phase of Moon because I keep watching them. I always watch them and they got good information. Life forever, life in peace, that you love life. If you got one message to say to all the viewers of Third Phase of Moon, what would it be? Um, it's time to for mankind to do uh, what mankind was meant to do, and that is to save and treasure life and to keep the peace. This image is for mankind to simply say hello to them. Uh, we know they're here, they've been here, uh, they want to be our friends. Let's, let's show them that we love life too. And this symbol says, life forever, life in peace, that you love life. Polluted, we're getting the chemtrail crap sprayed on us night and day. I mean, the food, the intentional poisoning in our food, Monsanto, mm -hmm. all that stuff together is, is crippling us. Yes. And I hope that they're here to help us with all that. You know, that to me is the reason I really want them here. And I would like to meet them, to have friends from another planet, my God or even from here that we don't know about yet. That's pretty awesome. Our Space Brothers, if you got one yes. message out there to all the viewers of Third Phase of Moon, what would you have to say? I like their videos, that's one thing for sure. But um, the message is just, man, have a high consciousness and accept all this stuff and stop with the hate, because they don't want it. They don't like that we watch movies where we kill each other. You know, they don't understand that. I, I want to be like that too. I stopped watching movies, period. It's just because it's a distraction from what I really think, and I want to see these guys and meet them. I think that'd be awesome. What do you think of that alien skeleton we just showed you on Third Phase of Moon? That's, it's really funny that you, you, when you showed me that, I, I seen another footage similar to that one, um, and it, it's, it's not surprising. It's, for me, it's not surprising because it's, you know, we, I've already known, you kind of said that we've been visited many, since the beginning of who we are. And so it's, it's not surprising that we're going to find the skeletons here and there that are going to prove that, you know, it's just, it's just a matter of time that you know, people are going to start opening up their minds, opening up their hearts to a, to a different way of just being in general. So, If you got one final message to all the viewers of Third Phase of Moon, what would it be? Lift your consciousness. Be in a place of love. Be in a place of peace. You know, if, if, if you, somebody needs a helping hand, help them. Just, 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 just be there for them and just do it unconditionally, with unconditional love and that's it. I'm having a wonderful time meeting new people, enjoying the company of all these UFO uh, followers and uh, believers. And even though it's cloudy today, we have had some sightings and they were exciting. What's your take on the UFOs in general? Well, I believe in UFOs because I've been aboard ship, so I'm a believer. If you got one message out there for all the YouTube viewers, third phase of the what would you have to say? My main message is don't, remember, don't forget to, to love yourself and then others. What do you think of the footage I just showed you about the, UF, the alien skeleton on third phase of the moon? Well, looks like it crashed into something and it has very big eye sockets. I thought it was an animal at first, but then when I saw the eye sockets after the light was shown on it, I'm totally sold. And if you got one message to all the viewers on YouTube... They're... I don't think we're the only life form in the entire universe. <laughs> what do you think of the footage I just showed you, the alien skeleton? I actually think it was pretty amazing. I think people need to be more aware of the extraterrestrial life forms that are out there and the different dimensions that are out there and that we're not the only human beings living or not necessarily human beings, but we're not the only life form that's living out there. Right, we are here live with the one and only Robert Bingham, the UFO Seminar. You having a good day today? Oh. <laughs> It's been a good day. We had a lot of people show up. Today is the one year anniversary since I went public. Uh, actually, I think it was a great day as far as everybody getting together and uh, talking about this phenomenon. And uh, we had a couple of things, but I can't actually tell you what they were because they were pretty high. But the weather hasn't been cooperating today. So, but you know, you can't always do great things happening, you know. Today happens to be a very, very cloudy day. And I usually don't see too many UFOs on cloudy days. Uh, so, uh, all I say is hi out there, and watch my channel, I posted a new video. It's a great video that was actually taken on Saturday last week here at the Park Plaza Park. If you got And also subscribe to my channel on robertbingham.org. Our UFO Robert Bingham, go to those channels. If you got one message out there for everybody, the believers, non-believers, what would you have to say to them? Uh, there is hope for this planet and hope for all of us. Uh, keep your head to the sky and uh, 
you still were. Dreams will come true. Wish upon a star. All those things, they mean something. So that's what I have for you. Thank you again. Thank you.